Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In today's video, I'll teach you how to do this animation in After Effects. Without further ado, let's get started. We now have an empty composition. Let's go animate the tunnel. Let's create a new solid layer, make it into a yellow color. Let's go to scale property to animate the scales. Change the scale to 10, go forward 15 frames. Change it to 100%. And now we have an animation. We can duplicate this composition, Command D. Let's go change the color again. Let's change it to a gray color. And now we have two animation. One is in yellow and one is in gray. Let's select both layers, Command D to duplicate. We can change the label color as well. Let's just keep duplicating a couple more times so that we got more tunnels. And every time I'm duplicating, I'm changing the label color. I think we can stop here for now. And now I select everything, hit U on the keyboard to show all the keyframes. We need to stagger the keyframes, select everything. And then we need to stagger all the keyframes, three frames apart, make the amount three and then hit this button here. Let's see the animation. So make sure I have all the keyframes selected. Let's try to make this one 60% for the incoming velocity. Next thing we need to do, we need to go create a new composition. Call this one gradient tunnel. Inside the gradient tunnel composition, we need to add a bunch of circles in different colors, whatever color you like. And then we'll add the wiggle position effect to all these shape layers with wiggle speed one wiggle per second and then wiggle amount to be 200. And now we have a bunch of circles wiggling in the space. Next thing, we're going to add an adjustment layer and then add a fast box blur effect with the blur radius set to 70. And this is going to be my gradient tunnel. This is one tunnel. Let's go back to the project panel. Let's create a tunnel too. Call this one blue. And in this composition, we're going to add a couple more circles in the composition and then make sure we have this wiggle position effects on everything, all the circles, add an adjustment layer on top with a fast box blur effect. The blur radius can be set to 90. And then we also have a null object controlling all these circles with a rotation property so that my null is controlling my circles, not only wiggling, but also rotating in the space. Let's go back to the tunnel animation. Let's go pre-comp this yellow solid, command shift C, call this one yellow gradients. And then let's pre-comp this dark gray solid, call this one blue gradients. That's good. And then let's double click inside the yellow gradients. Let's drop my gradient tunnel inside my yellow gradients. This is going to be my layers. And this gradient is going to cover my previous yellow solid. Go back to the tunnel again. Let's go inside the blue gradient. Let's drop my blue gradient composition inside to cover my original dark gray layer. So let's go back again. Now that we have my yellow gradient and blue gradient, we're just going to replace a yellow layer. Let's select the yellow layer, everything we have here. And then let's go to the project panel. Make sure we hold down option on the keyboard. Drop this yellow gradient on top of one layer so that it's replacing everything. And then let's select the dark gray layer as well to replace with the blue gradients. This is going to be the blue gradient. Make sure we hold down option and then drop on top of the dark gray solid. And now we're replacing all the solid layer that we had before with the gradient layer we have now. Let's go see the animation. That looks pretty cool. Let's select everything and then pre-compose it. Call this one tunnel. Let's duplicate the tunnel. I'm going to use the pen tool to draw a mask just like this from the corner. I also want to make sure I'm going to be exact so all my points is coming from the corner like this. And this middle point should be exactly in the center. Let's, let me turn on title action safe to make sure this point is in the center. That looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to offset the composition by three frames. One, two, three. 
Let me just cut it here and then move it back to zero. Let's see the animation. We're going to have this tunnel animation like this. Next thing we're going to do, go to layer, add an adjustment layer. Call this one bulge. Let's add a bulge effect onto my adjustment layer. And then we can change, we can make the radius bigger. Let's make the radius bigger to occupy the whole space. And you can see it's changing my entire tunnel to be more curved shape instead of a straight shape. If you like the straight shape look, this is what you get. But if you like the curved shape, once you use the bulge effect, that's how you get it. Next thing is we're going to add another adjustment layer. And we can call this one color. In terms of the color adjustment layer, let's add in the deep glow and we can change the setting to 250 as a radius and then exposure can be 0.2. And then let's add on curves adjustments, changing the curve like this to make sure we got brighter in the highlight area and then a bit darker in the darker tone. And this is going to be my color now before and after. Let's play the animation. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We will publish new content every week. Click the subscribe button to level up your animation skills and get inspired with great animation every week. You can also join our exclusive community to hang out with motion designers to grow together. Check the link in the description below. Another thing we could add is we can add a lens flare. Let's go to add another adjustment layer. Call this one lens flare. If I just search for the CC lens flare, we can add it in and then we can animate the flare center to be the beginning from the top left corner. And then after maybe one second, it could go to the bottom right corner. You can see there's a flare that's going through my tunnel to give it more definition. Maybe it's too fast. I can slow it down by reducing the distance it travels. And then you can also blend it with the original better, maybe 60%. So that is not very obvious. Just a hint of highlights. After we have the lens flare, we can add in some other elements like the circles. I have my circles over here and a couple cubes as well. So in terms of the circles, if I go inside, you can see this is the same grading texture that I'm using. Just the same one as the tunnel. And all I did was to mask on top of a circle shape so that we have the circle animation going on. Once we have a couple of circles, what we're going to do is we're going to animate the scale property. So have the circle going from the center all the way scaling up. I'm using a null object to control the rotation of the circle. And then I'm using the scale property to animate the circle growing bigger and bigger. And this is what I'm doing. I also have two cubes going on other than the circle animation. So if you want to know how I did the cube, you can watch another tutorial that I did before. You can find the link in the description. Let's see the final animation now. That's it with this video. Hope you liked it and learned a couple tips and tricks for our next project. Let me know if this video is helpful in the comments down below and what other videos or tutorials you'd like to see on this channel. I love to hear your feedback. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like to use a different effect or do anything differently from this video. Let's keep sharing and grow together. One last thing, don't forget to join our exclusive Discord community to hang out with fellow designers. Stay on top of industry trends and grow together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.